Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in 2021, with the upcoming back then release of the original version of Windows 11, version 21H2, Microsoft released the PC Health Check app, uh, so you could check to see uh, if your device met the system requirements to be upgraded to Windows 11. And as I have mentioned previously, although they, they pushed out... Um, this app, it lacked quite a lot of information in, in regards to telling you why back then, why you couldn't upgrade, as an example, from Windows 10 to Windows 11 regarding some of the components that didn't meet those requirements. Now, as I mentioned previously, um, there were a lot of third-party uh, developers who started rolling out third-party apps to kind of plug the holes that the PC Health Check app um, wasn't meeting. And one of those was why not Win 11? which I did post on back in June of 2021, which I said was a more informative Windows 11 upgrade checker. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen for what it's worth. And as I mentioned previously, I do f and did find that the Why Not Win 11 was a lot more informative um, in regards to letting you know why or why not your PC could or couldn't be upgraded to Windows 11. Now, if we head over to GitHub, this is obviously where it's maintained and developed and they have rolled out a new version. That's why I'm posting this video and I normally don't post on third-party apps, but it's so linked so closely with Windows 10 and upgrading to Windows 11 and the Windows OS. I thought just to um, give you a heads up um, in case you may find this of interest and of benefit. So the latest version is 2.6.1.0 and the big one with this is uh, it now updates the processor list as we can see and then obviously here are the other fixes and improvements you can just pause if you want to check that out more in depth and they've updated the processor list because both AMD and Intel have released new CPUs obviously that Microsoft has added to the supported CPU list that weren't originally available so obviously this is the upgrade the big part of this upgrade and if you scroll right down to the bottom of the page yeah you can get the download links for the different versions of uh, of the actual app for 64-bit and 32-bit and then I always use the zip I don't personally like to install these on my device I like to just have a freestanding um, kind of application and app so if you want to get this you just click on the relevant link I'm going to use the zip uh, folder you head to your download location and you would just obviously right click extract all and then you'd pop into that folder and here we get why not win 11 for 64-bit and 32 bit and then obviously you just double click on that and that'll open up the app and as um, stated previously it gives you a lot more information about um, the compatibil com compatibility results as to why or why not some of your different hardware and so on um, doesn't meet the requirements so you, you you know you are then unable to upgrade to Windows 11 and it says your computer is not ready for Windows 11 and I know this because as mentioned previously on the channel this Windows 10 device does not support Windows 11 and I'm quite okay with that so it's not a big deal for me and uh, yeah you can see my CPU is not compatible so um, you can always just hover over the information and uh, you can get a little bit more info regarding why why not um, that feature is supported or not supported and TPM version is another one disabled not detected and yeah you've got some information regarding your computer here at the bottom you can check for updates I've already got the latest version and you can head into the settings we've got a couple of guides for Windows 11 requirements convert this to GPT enable secure boot enable TPM skip CPU and TPM get Windows 11 now and these will take you to the relevant online resources and I find this quite useful, especially if you're kind of new to this. And this might give you a little bit more information and more inf info regarding why why not you can or can't upgrade to Windows 11. So I just putting it out there. Um, I know this is kind of like yesterday's newspaper. Um, these compatibility check apps for upgrading from 10 to 11 and why why not you can't. But I thought I'd just put it out there um, because this did gain a bit of interest a couple of years ago. And just want to let you know that it's now sitting on version 2.6.1.0 with that updated processor list. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.